Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to the Outer Worlds Supernova Difficulty, where I am low-key role-playing like I am some sort of space cowboy. Alright, so I'm going to pick up where I left off. Let's go into the journal here. So I can return to Orson with his uh, weapon thingy, and then I'm planning on heading to Scylla, I think. Oh, well, let's talk to Parvati right now. Didn't I request? Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? Uh, you met that odd mechanical clanking around the ship yet? Oh, you mean Sam? He's just the sweetest, ain't he? A real charmer, my dad would say. Have you given him a nickname yet? Nah, but I've been thinking on one. Gotta get to know him better, I think. Maybe ask him what he prefers. It ain't nice to give folks a nickname without them giving you the okay first, you know? Of course, that don't stop Felix. <laughs> well, so there's your soap. Oh, thanks, Captain. I'm gonna put these someplace safe. In her messages, June Lay said her mama used to make this dish for Monarch. Dustback casserole. Saltuna and Xenogold needle mushrooms. And then for dessert, there's a thing called, uh, sweetheart cake. It's made with almond paste and wax gourds. There's got to be some place in Stellar Bay that can bake a casserole. And I heard tell there's a Rizzo's town near there called Cascadia, what specializes in sweets. All right, we'll figure it out. Thanks, Captain. I know I'm asking an awful lot, but I'm sure it's going to be worth it. Well, talking to you leveled me up, so I like that. Um, all right, let's... Uh, Get my handguns up to 50, and my long guns up to 50. Heavy weapons can lag behind, that's alright. Uh, what else do we want? I want better leadership, and that will be my skills. For perks, I'm going to do extra weak spot headshot damage. And then, let's head over to tell Wells that I have the stellar key. Welcome back, Captain. Hi. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay... Would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? In fact, I would. Put him on screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Sounds like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Got some questions for you. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. All right, I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Didn't really have questions. Just curious if it led anywhere. All right, other simple things I can do. Let's return to Orson. Uh, he is back at uh, Roseway, and then um, I think we are going to be forced Roseway, to go somewhere new. Remember that you. I know I'm not sure. All right, let's bring Parvati and Sam so they can get acquainted. Time to break some ankles. You know, like I do. Oh, my character's actually hungry. So, time to eat some things, too. Alright, so Orson was the scientist that absolutely has no short-term memory for humans. Maybe some sort of face aphasia, blindness, something like that. It was kind of funny. Uh, taking a look. Yeah, we've pretty much searched everything else here. So, we're... Just about done with Roseway, I suspect. 
Now a little reminder, I'm not using a guide and uh, I'm not really looking for like suggestions of things I missed. If I don't naturally stumble upon it, that's fine. I, I won't see it in this playthrough and that's not a big deal to me. Uh, I didn't really poke around the buildings here, so maybe I'll do that after I talk to Orson. Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? Yes. Uh, yeah, you asked me to grab a prototype schematic from storage. Ah, yes. Very good. And have you done that? Uh, yep. What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Uh, you know, the force weapons are considered contraband. Why do you turn them over? Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. They're valuable schematics. I could sell them for quite the profit. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. And over these schematics. Much obliged. Here are your bids. Now, let's see here. Attach this, twist that, apply a little pressure, and... Voila! I can finally call this little side project complete. Thank the law. Oh. Hmm. I can't be caught with this. Nice. You take it. If R&D buys the schematics from me, perhaps I'll get you the first model. Hot off the presses. I'll, uh call you yes I'll call you you don't even know who I am you're not gonna call me don't you lie so you gave me a pistol um it's a pretty decent damage pistol 40 damage it probably fires really fast all right so let's poke around whether we're invited or not I don't know what of these buildings will allow us in no maybe none of them come on now We've gone into the comms building. All right, how about the... Vast quantities of sterilizing agent detected. Area analysis is unexpectedly disgusting. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's going to tell you to make tracks. Want to treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? Yes. Let's trade. Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Cool. Uh, all right, so you just have, oh, there's a surcharge. Yeah, screw you. I'm not all that friendly with, um, Auntie Cleo. Now, what about this building? Oh, Wells, you're so wanted. You're underestimating the importance of the eighth back. Blankenship, she's okay. But Lunsford has the highest They're rate named. of goals per game. But if you cross-reference with the skills of the opposing team, his hand goal rate plummets. What? <sighs> Lunsford plays worse against better teams. Blankenship plays better. Hmm? Carry on. Okay, they're not actually interested in conversation with me. I just used some key card that I had on me. And now, oh, and here's another key card. Security lockdown. Um, all right, let's check the journal files. This is uh, the Auntie Cleo journal files. I feel quite alone. All right, yada, yada, yada. Come to see the truth. Uh, talking to Vaughn today. Oh, this stuff is boring, isn't it? All right, sorry, not reading it. Sorry, not sorry. I've never really had all that much interest in, like, the thick backstories of stuff. Ooh, that assault rifle is worth stealing. That thing does oodles of damage. And I would say I'm going to actually equip it because um, my current weapons just aren't kicking out the damage they need to. So I'm going to, let's repair all the equipped and tinker with the rifle, adding a little bit of extra oomph to it. 
I suppose I should also repair my uh, hunting rifle that has been so, uh, right, liable. All right, Auntie Cleo, you got some helmets. Man, your face is posted everywhere, dude. All right, that's about it for this facility. I got 500 bits on the darling. book that I'm going to steal. I'm not really looking to make money off of theft, because there is a lot to steal, but uh, unique items like books I'll lift. Wrapped it on handler's outfit. Oh, it's unique. Has a lot of, um, a lot of uh, mods built in. Still not worth very much, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, there might not be much else for me to do here, so let's go back to teleport back to the ship. No need to use our feet. Where are we headed today, Captain? Alright, I think the Let's ultimatum weapon the it doesn't display a reminder on... Okay, stop talking. It doesn't display that it's unique, but I'm going to put it away as if it is. And um, then let's mod up our rifle. I'm going to mod um, plasma into it. Funtime barrel. And a gyroscope. When your next shower is scheduled. Don't schedule my showers. It's creepy, Ada. You probably have cameras in there. All right, so let's go ahead and modify the rifle. Fun times barrel for more crit, plasma for fire damage, or plasma damage, and the gyro for less spread. So now I've got myself a really reliable rifle. Uh, Alright, taking a look at my journal. This takes me to Monarch or Stellar Bay. Uh, Scylla. Somewhere else, silent voices. Maybe I'll do silent voices. Uh, Scylla. Oh, the empty man. Yeah, let's do the empty man first. And talk to Olivia Hagen. So that's on Groundbreaker as well. So let's go over to Groundbreaker. And finish up all of the current quests we have on Groundbreaker. I'd like to finish Phineas Lab Terra 2 and Groundbreaker before I go somewhere new. Docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Cool, thanks, I guess. All right, so let's take Z Vicar Max and just Vicar Max because he's the only one that has a quest here. Um, well, the only companion, that is. And they level with me, so. Uh, with Mr. Vicar Max, let's upgrade his armor. And I got thirsty, so. Let me drink a little water, I'm also getting tired. This shouldn't take too long. So, Lil Lilia Hagen is the CEO of uh, the Salvage Corp. But first, I'm going to do Vicar Max's thing. So, oh, wait, I accept. Yes. All right, journal. Empty man. I need to go hack into some terminal. So I'm in using my shroud right now, and there it is. ejecting the docking records. Let's read confiscated goods. So there's some goods that they confiscated, including a locked container, security logs, sublight bids on an impound. Okay, uh, brawl of the lost hope. My ship was impounded. Guy from back bays beat up a moon kid, and McCred was spotted at the rest and go, but. No one will testify to it because they don't want to get burned. Cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. No one in these prisons? Nope. I'm going to walk on through. Nicely done. 
I'm just uh, looting this stuff, not because I need it, but because it levels me up when I pick it. I'm not really personally against the Groundbreaker, so I'm not really looking to steal from them. Oh, someone's spotting me back there. I'm going to be anti-corp, more pro-independent, and Groundbreaker is definitely independent, so... Cool view, actually. Pretty cool view. I can see in the other dockyards. They don't seem to be used. But this looks like some sort of secret. Right on. What else is here? More stuff to steal. Alright, this looks like a pretty good place to talk to him. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? You hesitated there, Vicar. What aren't you telling me? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? Uh, this all seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Sure. I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't believe them at all. All right. That's enough talking to you. That looks closed. Oh, even more loot. Toss ball blocker and some gear. Stuff to sell, surely. Uh oh, that's gonna hurt. Hello, landed on your head. Don't mind me, just looting everything that isn't nailed down. Alright, let's sell some of the stuff to Mr. Moonface. Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Uh, let's just trade with this guy. I have a look. I'm going to call him Eeyore, I think, because he kind of reminds me of Eeyore. All right, sell. So I have a little bit of a discount. Um... Sell armor first, and then spare weapons. Okay, that's about it. Uh, we are supposed to talk to Lydia, right? She is in Sublight Salvage. Sublight Salvage. Their front looks surprisingly on the up and up. <laughs> Their front. Locked. Could you open it? Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? Uh, yep. Captain Ronderman here. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Thanks. I should go. Hello. So you're the new captain in town. Sure am. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Name's Radama, Captain of the Unreliable. Charmed. It's nice to see the Unreliable again. A useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Don't let Ada hear you calling her ship names. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. 
There's always a catch. There is always a catch. Ah, don't quote me. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Sure, but I want to know more. So, uh, what's so special about Stellar Bay? First, an embargo that's been active ever since the board pulled its forces off-world. Few regulations, plenty of freedom. And second, all the goodies that no one had time to pack. I can get into Stellar Bay. Tell me about the job. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. What's sub Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. Erotica. All right. Um, how unconventional. Asking for a friend. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Uh, what kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. So I'm going after Alta Vitae gas. What exactly is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of the lab. Ah, yes. Alta Vitae. I knew someone who inhaled it by accident. I'd never seen anybody spontaneously combust before. I see your friend here is the brains of the operation. Good. Every salvage crew needs one. Hey now. I'm smart. I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? Understood. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Well, that set me at ease. Yeah, me too. Whoa, almost shot her. Alright, so, journal. Let's see about here. Uh, I am... Just about done with everything here. I'm going to head over to Scylla. Because that quest I've had the longest. So I'm going to take a random stab in the dark to say Scylla's easier than everywhere else it has me going to. Uh, hopefully. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Your face so let's go ahead and get a few weeks. Or rather, your head gear. Eat, drink, and, oh, no, we're still a ground breaker. Durr. Let's head over to Scylla, a large asteroid, uh, basically a group of rocks called the Charbdolus something or another. Please avoid what? I'm still hungry and thirsty. Come on, I just ate. Damaging yourself or us. All right, I'm gonna bring um, Max and Sam because Sam is I sort of am designing him into a big old tank, and this place is likely to be harder than Terra Two, and then Vicar Max because he's got a sniper rifle. Yeah, so Sam Sam is a big old tanky boy. Well, uh. Particles detected. Vacuum them up. Can't walk five meters without stubbing your toe on a loose rock here. They're all loose rocks. We're on a moon, dude. C Circus Time Freighter. Ooh, a vending machine. You selling anything good? Ah, oh, these helmets are pretty good. Uh, what does um, Vicar Max have helmet-wise? 18? Yeah, let's give him a 41. Cost me a pretty penny, though. 
I'm trying to keep them in their their designated clothing that they start off with, but I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep that up before they're basically in danger of dying if I don't. Whoa. Uh, there's some sort of enemies above me. Let's see. I'm going to... All right, I'm going. Check it out. Oh, that's very cool. It's like a force field. Whoa! Don't go out of the force field. I got chunked row, and in the force field is equally dangerous. So you guys got outlaws and scrap mechanicals. Assault rifle is pretty good. I'm gonna want to wait up there, so let me. Oh, there's a ramp. Understood. On my way. I don't want Max or Sam getting any fights. At least not without me, because it will be hard to keep them safe. All right, boys. Everyone all right. What a difference. Night and day, I gotta say. Ooh, that is a huge sprat. Oh, this uh, big old sprat just dropped another one of these uh, awesome assault rifles. So for now... Oh! Ugh, you're killing me. Uh, and it's also, like, pristine quality. Um, for now, I'm going to give it to Max, but ideally, I'd like to mod that new one up. Eh, no, maybe I'll just deal with not having a pristine weapon. Ugh. Killing me that I modded up this one and then immediately found something just a tinge better. Alright, so, you guys are a bunch of clowns or something in the circus? I don't know. Y'all seem like bandits to me. Clowns and their drugs. Oh, some colorful lights. I bet Harvati will use that in her room. Or some yet to be met. So many dead, so few graves. Switching to deep scrubbing mode. What is this? A uh, faded broadsheet that announces the circus. Circus time announcements. Cool. I don't think the circus is coming anytime soon, though. This is like a partially terraformed... Uh... Oh, here's a workbench. Your bludgeoning objects ready. All right, so we're gonna go to Captain Arion or whatever his name is, who, uh, oh, and there's some robots up ahead, who was tasked with like medical drones and uh, detoured this way and got himself captured or killed or something. I don't know. Oh, a bunch of vending machines, cool. Um, sell. Sell the old Deadeye. And sell all the armors. They have a really good stun baton for sale, but uh, I don't really use melee, so I'm gonna... Actually, you know what? I'm going to... I'll keep my current melee, but... Yeah, they don't have anything for me. Um... I keep my current melee, but what I'm going to do is put my shotgun in, in its place. Maybe I end up using the melee. I'll just swap to it if, if so. I think some big old robots, no offense Sam, uh, require some destruction. So 
So there were some combat drones around here. Okay, there. giant behemoths. That's scary. Hello, robot. Here we go. You make it Fate shines on us today. That was easy. Sam does a lot of damage too. He's definitely more combat oriented than the other uh, companions. Mega Primal. That thing looks a mess. Uh, it does bring me to an interesting thought. I'm actually going to double back to the ship real quick because I want to try something. So I have that shrink ray, and those primals are enormous. Um, I don't want to lose any companions due to death or Dreams whatever. Request. No more fertilizer shipments be brought on board. Who keeps ordering these? All right, so... Vicar Max. Let me get that assault rifle back. It's pristine, so I ideally like to use it. And what mods do I have on me right now? So I've got uh, Zap Mod. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have the right mods to put into it. I'll have to save up. So I'll I'll leave that on the back burner. But uh, one thing I wanted is to grab the Phineas Wells shrink ray so that uh, when I fight those giant things I can potentially shrink them that could be cool gonna rest up and let's get back out there is there anything I can tinker with the shrink ray? No, I can't even modify it. I can tinker with it, but it only increases its damage, which is really not what the shrink ray is good at. Uh, so let's repair. And go mess with some mega things. All right, Max, you've got a really good assault rifle, so we'll bring you out on the field. Hopefully he's good at it. I'm going to try to cripple the other, uh, nice hit. the big guys. Sure. Oh, that's not so bad. One order on second fan coming up. Oh, uh, he's auto-healing. So I might as well save my, uh... My effort for when he's not auto-healing. Well, we killed the smaller two. Alright, Behemoth. Reset. This is like World of Warcraft styled. Alright, what I really wanted to do is use the Shrink Ray. But maybe not next to the uh, Explosive Bin. Oh, yes. You're not so scary when you're teeny. Cool. Well, I guess we have a way to uh, deal with these scary, scary large guys. The uh, flame rifle that I'm sporting does most of the heavy. Oh, boy. Another one. Navigating 
Oh boy. I just got concussed. And really hurt. Alright. Vicar Max is really hurt too. I'll make my way there. Alright, I got the big guy. Whew. This place is hard. Uh, I have a, some sort of phobia. Fear of primals. Ooh. Uh, no, I, I'm not gonna take any phobias. I probably should. That one's probably not that bad of a phobia to have. I'm gonna gas up a little bit. Now, I know I have a concussion. Ooh, what's this? Uh, Captain's Log. I want to retire in Groundbreaker. One more job, told myself. Uh, trouble with Outlaws. Never had trouble with Outlaws. That is hauling. And this is his ship. Hmm. Alright, so what I might end up doing is I might play it safe. And... Ooh, you're glowing. I might play it safe and uh, rest up my concussion, just because the ship's not that far away. But if I'm resting up the concussion, I'm going to need maybe some more food items. Yeah, I don't have a lot of food. Uh, so let's go hey, get some Captain, food. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. As far as weapons go... Oh wait, where's... Vicar? What weapon are you... Oh, you have the carbine. Oops. Let's give you the really, really good assault rifle. Alright, I think that carbine and stuff like that, I probably get rid of. What I'm going to do is I'm going to store... Where do I want to store? I'm probably going to go down to no more melee. So pistol... Shotgun, shrink ray, and my hunting rifle in case. Let's store the rest. Flamethrower. Yeah, I'm going to sell these things. Of it. Well, no, I can, I'll can. i hold on to them and sell them down there. So we're going to sell those three. And the vortex mace. Alright, then I want to get some stuff to eat. Get some baked beans and put away... The other consumables that I have. Although the nicotine I want to get rid of anyway. Oh, this is food. Just looks like liquid. So confusing to me. Alright. Oh, we're doing good. No more concussion. Now, I would say that's the big challenge of the, um, of the, uh, Supernova series is... Constantly having to sleep off concussions. I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle. Sure, go ahead and rest. Ms. Bot. Alright, TNLs I don't have surcharges with. So I want to sell plasma rifle, sell carbine, sell flamethrower, sell vortex, sell this helmet, sell the nicotine stuff, and I'm back. Vicar Max now should have the assault rifle, which he does. It's pristine, so it's higher durability than mine. And, uh, actually, my own weapon is a little damaged, isn't it? Not. I'm running super low on weapon parts. I should start breaking down more weapons. The problem is, uh, I'm poor. So I need bits. So I'm having to sell weapons for bits, and... Yeah. That's expensive. So I need to sort of scavenge everything at this point. My lack of wealth 
necessitates it. I'm trying to run a flink. Oh, there's a bunch of outlaws that have the captain here at gunpoint. Okay, so I think my revolver is my hardest hitting single damage weapon. Kind of like my new sniper rifle because my sniper rifle is junk. I'm going. Another MK2 rifle. And a level up. Wonderful. I was looting in the middle of battle. Big old no no, but whatever. I'm fine. Multiple fractures, lacerations, and untreated burns detected. Signs indicative of sudden violent crash landing. Yep, that's me. No big deal. Just shrugging off my injuries as I stroll away from another global impact crater. Also detecting constipation, hair loss, reduced fertility due to tight trousers. Recommend stimulant injection. Hair loss? You take that back. So, um, yes, you must be the, uh, the captain. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was, readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you <laughs> bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. So, this is very much a Zap Brannigan situation. The one and only... Wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? She did. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. None taken. I'll let Wanda know her shipment's on the way. Magnificent. And do please give Wanda my chilliest regards. All right, Zap. Might not be your name, but that's what I'm going to call you. Ooh, some drugs. Well, that one's done. Now I have, uh, well, let's see. I've got weapons from the void, which is a special weapon from Scylla. So let's head over that way. I should probably reload all my weapons first. Done. Some big terraformer I just found. Figured that's what that thing was. There's green and grass around it. Oh, another one of those giant primals. At least we have a, a half-baked strategy to deal with the primals. Oh, that was a magnum. Oh, uh, leveling up. Yes, so the dude gave me a flintlock. Ah, it's a double fire weapon. That's interesting. Probably not going to use it. 
Uh, I also leveled up. Yes, that is right. Um, let's see. How do I want to level up? I want to level up my leadership a little bit. Determination up to 50. Um, actually, you know what? Let's revert that. I'm going to level up my long guns. Up to Adept. So now we have uh, more weak spot damage. That's going to be important. All right. Vicar Max. Chance to reset ability cooldown on ability use. Uh, companion ability damage. Swapping weapons or science weapon damage. Um, he has a knockdown shot, so I would say I want to have him use knockdown shot more often. So I'm going to give him the chance for his ability to cool down when he uses it. So I can use it twice. What about for you, Sam? Again, same thing. Companion. Uh, yeah, I'll do that as for him as well. Most of their abilities are strong enough that I use it on one enemy and uh, that enemy is basically dead. Our scanners should... Okay. Again, more captains that are marooned. So that's the building I was at. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost walked right into them. Sure. I'm sort of curious if I can't scrap mechanical shrink the big scrapper. But what I will do is I'll put a uh, Making my way a there. fair bit of explosives between me and it. Here we go. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Yep, he shrinks. Vicar's been doing a pretty good job laying out the fire, too. Everyone all right. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, the, the uh, MK2 versions of these weapons make these fights easier. Uh, what I think I need to do is, um, as far as my skills get, are concerned, I need to level up my engineering so I get more stuff when I break stuff down. So maybe that's what my next level will be dedicated towards. more parts. There seems to be a lot of little points of interest around here that I've not really... Ooh, like a cave that I've not really checked out. Alright, how badly damaged is this rifle? It's not so bad. Something tells me, uh... Oh, not so bad in here. Unless this is some sort of false sense of security. Heavy machine gun. I can't crack that at all. Right control armor. My guess is I need Parvati Someone for this. So maybe I'll come back here with Parvati. Shrink ray definitely works. Works quite nicely. Shrinking those big scaries into something a bit more manageable. And then the flaming assault rifle really cuts through them too. 
But shrinking them down makes sure that my companions don't get annihilated so easily. I'm picking a real roundabout way to get to this point of interest. Mold detected. Mildew detected. Body odor detected. Ear mites detected. Hmm. I want to try out the it's HMG. But looks can be deceiving. No, it's actually not that great. To destination. Okay. Uh, let's try this uh, Spacer's Choice pistol. Whatever happened to that Walker mech? Probably in here somewhere, right? More vendors for a hunting rifle ultra. Yes, I will buy that. That's a upgraded hunting rifle, so I'm gonna sell my old one because I can't take the mods out of it anyway. All right, you know what? I might be able to break it down. Um, well, I barely get money for that. Uh, so, hunting rifle ultra, I will turn into an anti-mech weapon. Uh, as far as breakdowns go, this pistol is worth, I have to sort of decide what, I need weapon parts, so I have to pick what price point I break stuff down and what price point I, um, I keep it. Actually, I'll break all this down. Okay. Yeah, they're starting to have like tier two stuff. Which is cool. Alright, that's enough. It's a rather large facility. I'll be right there. Gotta watch out for landmines and stuff like that. Sealed. All right, so it's a mining outpost, I just discovered. Well, if all the other points of interest are sort of locked. Messages. Here's the survey results. Um, surveyed mineral vein, high density of... You Tritium and Scandium, or whatever. I can't pronounce it right, I'm sure. Um, status report. The terraform is turning at O2. Survey efforts continue. The initial vein ran dry rather quick. Promotion, youngest VP in history. Bad news. The dome. All sites within the dome is run dry. Mechanicals are bringing food beyond the retention field and then they basically told them to abandon the site logs happy birthday julia oh uh, wow that's sad kind of a love letter and reminder about sublight It's 
enough information. So this has a science weapon. So this, what does this thing do? I don't know what this does exactly, but it's important. I'd went on a whole mission to get it, so yay. I'm just not knowledgeable enough to know what it does. All right, well, that mining facility is done. Let's poke around. Well, here's a vending machine. Any other tier two weapons that I need to know about? Yeah, tier two LMGs and impact hammers and all that jazz. And tossball sticks. Well, I'm not going to spend money on that because I'm poor. But that's cool to know. Okay, we got a, another Mega Primal over there. Now they kind of have a good strategy to kill them. I don't mind throwing down. Great work. Oh, there's an Impact Hammer Tier 2. And some Toss Ball card. That's probably something that uh, Felix wants. Unit is in motion. Beep, beep, beep. Don't get any mercy. The goal is simple as one, two, three. By the law, we do pretty good job, I gotta say. Oh, look at you! Bunch of collectibles on you, Mr. N. Huh. Revolver tier two? I like, like, like. Oh, it's pristine as well. Be right there. So now I can high moon with double the damage. Well, killing those big guys have proven bountiful. So I'm going to poke around the rest of the area around here. Been getting good at killing them too, huh? We know we want to maybe bring um, Pravati back here for that robot that was uh, somewhere in that valley. I'll check this one out as well. Just a cave. Oh, another processing drone. This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include dialogue, limited current active commands, excavation. That is all. Uh, what are you excavating? This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. So you're a prospector. Brevity identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length, but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks. Always. Cute. Tremor Cleaver. That sounds fun. Oh, no, those are the low tier ones. I already know about those. So maybe Parvati doesn't want to do anything with these robots. I don't know. But uh, 
let's go see if she does. Oh, I have to be outside to fast travel. Oh, no, I was just fast traveling the wrong thing. So I know I'm uh, running up out of time here, uh, but I just want to see if there is a reason to return back around Scylla. Um, so before I end this episode, I want to bring Parvati over to the broken mechs and see if she does anything with them. Maybe there's some sort of benefit. Nope, doesn't seem to have any sort of interaction here. I hope this fancy soap we got is extra strength. I'm feeling a might ripe. Okay, you could have done without that. Um. Well, that's something I can't hack, but I'm not going to magically be able to do it. All right, guys. Well, that's probably about it for this episode then. Uh, and if I remember to go uh, pick into that box at some point, who knows? If you uh, have any suggestions for this series, hey Ada. If you have any suggestions for this series, drop me a line, and I do hope that you tune in next time. Thanks all for watching. Catch you all later. Adios.